What is going on? We are back. Uh, I've recovered pretty much 100% from my nose surgery. Today it's Sunday. I'm going to pick up a dumpster that's over an hour away. That's only because they paid a lot more money for fuel. Uh, we've got a frozen dumpster here. Uh, just dropped off a, uh, an empty 15 here back at the yard. Um, I'm going to be grabbing this 20 yard uh, from a, a brand new customer actually. I think it's going to be, I hope, a start of a new relationship uh, with a new roofer. And uh, they got a 20 yard, uh, hopefully not overloaded. They said it was only gonna be 32 square, one layer. So we'll find out together. Uh, did this roofer company overload my 20? And am I going to be making a, another trip out there with a can to dump into uh, another one so I'm not quite overloaded. One other thing I wanted to share with you is more recently I've had a ton of trouble with my hoist system. Um, specifically, I had a part failure from my wireless remote. Uh, water got into the module that sends uh, the power uh, to the right places. That ended up burning up my old uh, winch. I talked about that in a previous post on, my, on the community tab here. So if you're not subscribed, uh, go ahead and subscribe there. You'll see a little bit more content more regularly when I when I do post on there. Um, that destroyed my old winch. Uh, I had to replace this actual wireless module, uh, kind of brainstorming to find a way to make sure no water could get in there uh, you know, in the future with this new one that I replaced it with. Uh, and then since then, <coughs> I actually had an issue uh, with my uh, solenoid on the electric hydraulic motor uh, for the whole system in general. So um, I've since replaced that little solenoid as well. Uh, it got overloaded. Um, basically what I'm wanting to do, it's a little too loud over here, but what I'm wanting to do is to be able to actually lower this entire pump, uh, the, the electrical everything in, in the pump itself uh, replace the hydraulic lines and actually lower it down a little, little tucked away more, a little further down there. So that's going to be something uh, this year that's actually absolutely going to happen. Um, I, I can already hear it maybe in the comments below. I already know electric over hydraulic systems uh, were maxed out at certain uh, pressures for the pumps and what it's even capable of doing. Um, ideally, going the full hydraulic, the PTO. Um, all of that, there's there's some some options out there, kind of middle of the road, uh, that you can do. Um, this setup is is not ideal for doing, of course, larger weights, of course, being over CDL and, and you know going into that territory. Uh, but it is, I'm working with what I got, and sometimes you do what you got to do until you can get to where you can do what you want to do. So right now I'm trying to do the best I can with what I've got, and uh, I'm going to simplify a few things. Uh, for safety and just keeping things out of the way and uh, ultimately making sure the system is as sure proof as it can be for what I'm doing. So let's go ahead and get after it. So we are here about to pick up this 20 yard. Let's see how much is actually in this 20 yard can. All right, kind of heavy in the middle. Let me look in the back here. Okay, not too much here. Kind of in the middle, more bunched up. Let's see if we can get this thing picked up. I think it's probably, I think it actually is pretty, pretty fair of a, of a statement that it was about 32. So along with all the other little packaging and I'm sure some of the boards and all that. So let's get this tarp to get it picked up.
it's it's at least I would say seven to nine thousand pounds I would assume um, I really don't think based on there's been times where I've gone to pick up you know other cans and they absolutely were uh, were above my ten thousand pound and like that's a hard no for me um, but this it rolled up I need to grease my rollers in the first place uh, another round of that but besides that we're good to go we're golden picked it right up uh, tires are not squatting we're fine so um, now we will get it weighed uh, tomorrow and I'll let you know what it turned out to be well tragically I was not able to dump the whole load uh, the majority of it it's just kind of light stuff in the front here and then it's gonna built up right there but uh, we were not able to dump the whole load it was 2.93 uh, my gross weight ended up being uh let's see it was 25 880 is what it ended up being um so to be continued on that load but we're definitely still under 26k uh by a little bit um that'll have to defrost for a little bit here um something i did want to share with you is you know with my storage yard here um I wanted to, I actually asked my storage yard place, hey, is it possible for me to like have a little shed here to me to have some type of little structure to put stuff in? So um, in, a, in a past video, I've talked about having, um, well, very briefly, I think just in the live streams, um, I'd like to be able to wash my cans, uh, wash my truck a little bit, um, no, nothing you know perfection but just you know decent enough <laughs> to start off with and uh, to move that direction and uh, I wanted to see if I could have a power washer have one of those uh, what four foot by four foot uh, water containers on one of my other trucks or something on my trail or something like that to be able to have a mobile station here because I have no access to uh, to power or water here if I could pull that off uh, there's no real good place to there's no truck washes nearby at all I don't have options like that so um, anyways looking at doing that and also you know some other storage some other uh, cleaning and maintenance stuff that I wanted to have and uh, I asked the storage yard here hey can I do this they said actually no We'd rather you, we wouldn't allow you to have any type of structure, even a temporary little uh, shed or stand up, you know, small, two or three feet deep by, you know, head foot tall kind of a thing. No, not that's not allowed. Uh, we'd rather you rent one of these right here or inside some of their large, large uh, buildings that have smaller units inside um no type of you know any structure so the guy at the, the who I was talking to basically said hey you know if you have like a trailer an enclosed trailer or anything that could be just maybe just on the ground maybe uh that you, you would have like a lid that goes up like that that you could store stuff i don't care you can anchor it through the ground put some rebar through do whatever you want to make sure it's you know structurally sound uh, and you know see if that'll work and so I'm considering doing something like that uh, or potentially just biting the bullet and renting one of these I think 10 by 10 uh, 10 by 12s or whatever here uh, literally it's it would be super convenient right across the drive <laughs> from my storage yard here and uh, be able to get that get that going so um i don't know let me know your thoughts on that if you would just bite the bullet and rent one of these things it's it's right across the street here or the drive um i think it would be pretty convenient i think it's like 62 dollars um i'm already paying to me a pretty hefty amount of rent <laughs> to be here at this location uh it, it's all a numbers game it's it's you know what's convenient what actually works what makes sense um add, adding one of these having like a little would-be shop sort of <laughs> to this having storage uh being able to tinker on things if i need to fix something or you know whatever 
Uh, it might be a possibility, might be something that actually helps. So still considering that, but um, also like instead of paying 60 something dollars a month for that, what if I got a, a small little similar to that maybe, little enclosed trailer, doesn't have to be. I mean, if it's just simply a, a maintenance storage place, uh, it can be helpful for just about anything. So uh, that's definitely something I'm thinking about. I've got to get this 20 yard that's on the truck now over to the uh, uh, one of the biggest parks in Lafayette, actually. Uh, they're doing a uh, swing set remodel, I guess. Uh, this company's used me once before last year, uh, landscaping company, and uh, we're at it again. So uh, I will catch you up on the other dumpster that's frozen that's going to be defrosting over the next day or so with frozen shingles and nails and all that i'm good i'm good i'll wait for it to defrost and we'll make it make sense later on all right so after we got the first one dumped 2.93 tons that was a couple of days ago it's now warmed up a bit more uh thankfully uh, it defrosted in the dumpster and I just was able to dump. This is the second dump for this can 1.74 tons, uh, which was remaining. Um, all together, I pulled up on the calculator 4.67 tons uh, in the 20 yard. Uh, definitely had a lot more room. Uh, if, if I had actually used a 15 yard, if they rented a 15, um, it might have been a little bit above the rail line if it was spread across the whole way. And because the 20 yard, of course, weighs more than the 15, um, I would have gotten, I would have been able to put a lot more weight into it, uh, maybe another 500 pounds or, or probably more, uh, rather than just 4.67 tons because my gross number for the truck, the dumpster, and the payload was 25,880. That was my ticket. Uh, my original ticket here was, yeah, 25,880 uh, altogether. So 120 pounds and a penny more and a hair more, uh, I would have been over my weight limit over the 26,000. So um, for whatever that's worth for you, working with shingle jobs in a 20 yard, uh, depending on your truck, the dumpster weight, and on what that really looks like, uh, you could potentially not, of course, not fill up the 20, the 20 yard and go overweight. So thankfully I did not on this one. Um, we, we talked through it quite a bit before, uh, you know, actually getting it dropped off there, but we were, we were legal with gross weight as well as, uh, functional weight. Uh, as far as the dumpster and the payload, uh, were concerned, I was still underneath. I was not exceeding, uh, what my system says it's able to do. Uh, for the switch and go. So that was good as well. Um, definitely do not prefer working, you know, you lose the weight with the can versus the payload. So, uh, for an under CDL truck, uh, definitely don't want to be doing, um, unless it's really worked out fine tune, you know, what does this look like? Uh, don't want to be doing a whole lot of 20 yard, uh, dumpster for roofing shingles. So hopefully you have a great day. Stay safe guys. And God bless.